It's Isabel from TheDietSolutionProgram.com and today I want to talk to you about something very important and that is all this confusion around carbohydrates. So a lot of people ask me, Isabel, are carbohydrates making me fat or do all carbs make you fat? The answer is no. You need carbohydrates to make your body function properly and you actually will not have any energy, your brain and your spinal cord will not function well if you do not eat carbohydrates. Now, exactly what is a carb? Carbs can be things like bread and pasta and potatoes, but they're also fruits and vegetables and some beans. And a lot of people just think bread and pasta when they think carbs, when really fruits and vegetables can give you the carbohydrates that you need as well. So when you eat a carbohydrate, your body takes them and breaks them down and creates glucose and you need that glucose in your blood in order to function well. It also takes these carbohydrates and stores them as energy in your liver and in your muscles. So if you exercise, you really do need to eat carbs. The problem is, is that a lot of people are eating an overabundance of carbohydrates, especially in the form of processed foods and baked goods and different breads and a lot of pasta. And that's where we're going wrong. Another thing that happens with carbohydrates is they turn into glucose and if your body doesn't use them then it turns them into fat and it stores them in your body as fat. So okay, what are you going to do? You need to eat carbs for energy and to function, but you don't want to eat too many carbs so that you gain weight. Well follow these rules and you will have enough energy from your carbohydrates without gaining weight. Only eat starchy carbohydrates after activity and after a workout. So I don't like to suggest that people have bread and pasta because they're wheat based and a lot of people don't do well with wheat. I like for people to stick to carbohydrates like sweet potatoes, yams, brown rice, different grains that maybe you're not really used to eating like millet, quinoa, spelt, things like that those starchier heavy carbohydrates you can have after a workout or after some heavy activity. The other carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables, you can have with every single one of your meals. So a perfect example would be have a bowl of berries with your breakfast, have an apple with your lunch, definitely have vegetables with every single one of your meals. So now you're getting enough carbohydrates during the day but it's not toast with breakfast and a tortilla or pasta with lunch and then some more rice with dinner. That's way too many carbs in one day, except if you're an athlete and maybe you're really training hours and hours a day. But most of us are just not training hours and hours a day. So let me give you a sample day of a good, reasonable amount of carbohydrates in a day. Have some eggs with your breakfast and then have a bowl of berries. Then as a snack, you can have an apple with some raw nuts. For your lunch, you can have a salad with raw vegetables and cooked vegetables and maybe an orange to go along with that. As another snack, you can have some carrots and celery and some almond butter. And then for dinner, have a salad with your meat, whether that's poultry or beef, and then some more cooked vegetables. There you have gotten a sufficient amount of carbohydrates for the day you're not going to gain weight and you're still going to feel energized and great. Again, this is Isabel from TheDietSolutionProgram.com. To find out more about how to create your own personal fat burning meal plan, visit my website today.